What's up, Kingdom Kids? It's your girl, Yada, and I'm here with a word from our good father. Yes, your father has sent me with a word, y'all. I don't know who needs this, but God said somebody needs this message, so I come through to bless the kingdom, okay? Listen, if you're new here, hi. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We welcome you to be a part of this family. So don't leave without hitting that subscribe button that way you never miss a video, okay? And if this message blesses you in any way, feel free to hit the like button. And if the Holy Spirit will lead you to don't leave without comment or sharing a video all right we definitely want to share the video family we want to make sure this reaches whomever the lord intends for it to reach amen all right y'all listen before we get into the word we're going to go ahead and pray in the holy spirit because y'all know we don't do nothing without god right all right pray with me family and Father God, we come before you today, Lord Jesus, as humble as possible, Father, just thanking you for who you are. And God, we thank you for keeping us yet another day, Father God. We thank you for loving us, Father. We thank you for forgiving us, God. Thank you for forgiving us in situations where we still haven't even forgiven ourselves, Father God. We just thank you for your forgiveness today. God, I thank you for your sons and daughters that has been led to this video, Father. I pray that they would have the eyes to see and the ears to hear. Lord, let it be your voice that is heard, Father God. Speak through me. I pray that the Holy Spirit will begin to fill me up and this flesh will step aside. God, speak to your children in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen, amen, amen. All right, now, y'all, listen. I don't know who needs this word, but God says somebody needs this, okay? And this is going to be for two different groups of people, all right? So y'all make sure y'all get this word back before God god in prayer and and let the holy spirit one test the spirit right but let the holy spirit reveal to you what this word means for you okay listen y'all but whoever this is for this should serve as a confirmation and it should also it may also be a warning because it's a prophetic word right so for some people it's going to be a confirmation and for others this is going to be a warning for something that is to come right so um so just let me let me break it down so for one set of people this is something that you're going through right it's something that you're going to be going through this is going to be for you personally amen so that with this word is going to be a bit of prophetic word it's going to be a warning right so you can uh, actually be going through it or about to walk into this right and for the other set of people you're going to be um you have already been through this and now you have been assigned to help someone else get through this situation okay so let me get y'all the word okay listen y'all stick around it's gonna bless somebody listen god is saying right now he said don't let this get you off your game okay listen to me your father said you're about to receive some bad news but don't let it get you off your game, okay? And I'm telling y'all, this is not going to be something light. This is going to be, listen, heartbreaking news, baby. Soul breaking news, okay? Listen, I feel like Jeremiah right now. <laughs> I feel like Jeremiah right now, for real. But God said, baby, you're about to receive. If you if you have not, you have already received. You recently received, like, real heartbreaking. Your parent passed, okay? Your, your spouse uh, or your child, you know, it was a real loss. Okay, it, you could even just be going through a divorce. Okay, uh, just a real, a real life event. This is a real life crisis. Okay, and I know sometimes we like to feel like, oh, uh, we um. We avoid this as we are chosen because we're chosen. God is saying, no, this happened even for the chosen, baby. Life gone life, okay? Even for the chosen, even for the anointed, okay? Even for the beloved. He said, you will still run into life crisis. Okay, so I want you to know right now that um something is about to go down. Okay, God said you're about to receive some bad news. Okay, it's going to be so breaking news. Okay, but I, I come with good news. Okay, I come with good news. Your father said this too shall pass. Amen. He said this too shall pass. Declare that thing. Somebody just say this too shall pass. Amen. Type that out. Come on now. Declare that thing over your situation. Child, say this too shall pass. In Jesus' name, God say, but I want you to focus on your response, okay, your reaction to the news. So when you get the news, like, you know, like, um, how they say, you know, you ever been at work and somebody broke up with you while you were at work, right? God is saying something like that. Like when you get the news where you are, don't, your, your reaction, your response is going to be on display. Okay, so if you at work, baby, and somebody tell you, listen, I'm I'm filing for a divorce, uh, wing, this ain't working out, this relationship ran, of course, you're gonna have to hang that phone up and be like, you know what? 
I guess I'm gonna have to stay at work because I can't afford not to get my coins. <laughs> like I can't afford to miss work now with Jen Me. I'm the only income now, okay? You have to, you got us asking us to take the news, okay? Whatever news we receive, we have to take it with um with grace. Okay, just be like, even though the news is bad. Even though the news is bad, God is still good. Listen to me. Just be like, even though the news is bad, God is still good. Somebody just say that right now. Say, even though the news is bad, God is still good. Come on now. Like, we don't want to live without our parents, but we can. We don't want to live without our children, but we can. We don't want to live without our spouse. I'm sorry, y'all. Let me put the light back on. But we can. Amen. So God is saying right now, even though the news is bad, you have to remember he is still good. And that's how he wants you to respond. Do not respond the way out of the norm. Okay, don't overreact. Don't don't let don't be led by your emotions. Okay, this is the warning. Okay, I'm warning you. I don't know what I'm not psychic. I don't know what's going to happen, but God says something. We're going to receive something, right? Somebody, whoever this is for, is for me. He told me to share it with you guys, so it's for somebody else too, right? So he's saying right now, listen, you're going to receive some news that's going to probably it's going to hurt. He was like, and I'm not saying do not cry about it, but don't cry in public, baby. You better cry in car. <laughs> you better cry in your shower, okay? He said you better cry in, in in private, okay? Baby, hold it together, okay? When you get that phone call, baby, hold it together. Do you hear me? Somebody just coach yourself right now. Say, hold it together. Do you hear me? Hold it together. Because, baby, the people going to be watching, okay? And you might be like, I don't care who watch. Now, God say, I need you to hold it together because I'm going to show you how to get through this thing with grace, okay? He say, I'm going to get you through this. I'm going to give you the, the instructions on how to get you through it because the people that's watching you, they're going to go through the same thing. Remember, we all go through the same things in life, right? We might just go through it with different people at different times, but we all face the same issues in life. So God is saying, so when they go through it, you can say, oh no, you ain't gotta, you ain't gotta drink yourself out of that, baby. You ain't gotta go to drugs. You ain't gotta, you know, you ain't gotta go to the witch doctor, baby. Let me show you how God got me through this thing. Do you hear me? God is saying, I'm gonna, that's why I say for some people, you're gonna be assigned to others to help them get through, right? Like just say, you know, like a divorce. If you've been divorced, you got through it in a healthy, positive way, right? <laughs> in a godly way. Um, so you might have a co-worker or a friend or something that's going through a divorce and they, they're taking it really hard. God say, remember how I got you through it? I need you to go help them through it. All right. So whoever this is for, I pray that this reaches you guys because God is saying something is about to happen. You're about to receive some heartbreaking news, some horrible news. He said, but I need you to respond with grace and know that I'm going to help you through this thing. That even though the news is bad, it is not going to be the end of life. Don't start to feel hopeless. Be like, oh, Lord, if I if they go, I just can't live without them. God said, do not react like that. Okay, do not lose all hope, okay, because your hope should be in your father, okay, do not lose all hope over this situation, don't let this get you off your game. All right, listen, y'all, I'm going to give y'all some scriptures. I'm going to let y'all go. I love y'all so much. Listen, I don't know who this is for, but I pray that it reaches you, okay? So this is what God gave me. He gave me Ezekiel 24, verses 15 through 26 ezekiel 24 verses 15 through 26 guys i encourage you to go back and read it okay because i'm not gonna read it all but this is when ezekiel wife dies right but in verse um verse 15 it says the lord came to him and says son of man with one blow i'm going to take away the delight of your eyes Listen to me. I'm telling you the information you get is going to knock the wind out of you with one blow Listen to me. God said, it's going to knock the wind out of you, okay? But he said, yet do not weep, don't cry, don't shed a tear. Groan and uh, groan quietly. Like just, you know, take it take it quietly in private, okay? Groan privately. You know, like when you're having a pain and you're like, oh, God said, groan quietly, but do not weep. Do not moan for the dead. All right. He said, keep your turban fastened and your sandals on your feet. Do not cover your mustache or your beard or eat custom, um, customary foods for moaners. So these were things that they would do in that time to say, I'm going through, I'm grieving, right? God say, don't do that. Don't put on all black. Don't stop combing your hair. You know, he said, don't, don't respond in a way that say, you know, how he said, don't look like what you're going through. 
Don't try to be what society say a, a, a person going through this law should look like. Okay, so God, that's what God is saying right now to us, family. So even then, after that, he told him, he said, now go to the people and do it for them, right? So when in the morning, he went, um, Ezekiel went to the people and he told him, he said, the Lord said that you're about to go through, right? He's going to take away all the things, your strongholds, the, uh, what you take pride in, and the light of your eyes and the objects of your affection. He said, the sons and daughters that you left behind will fall to the sword. And you will um, do as I do as I have done. Do not cover your mustache. Don't cover your beard. Don't eat the food. Okay, keep your turbans on. Keep your sandals on your feet. And you will not moan. He said, don't moan the dead. Okay, so this is, I'm telling you, like right now. So what God is saying in this, guys, he's saying when you get this, don't do what's custom to do. Don't do what's traditional to do, okay? He's saying, no, do what I have told you to do. So he's He's going to give you, that means he's going to give us instructions through the situation, right? He's going to give us orders, give us commands to follow through the situation. Don't do what you, what, what you saw other people do, right? Unless you are the person, amen? Unless you are the person that God has sent, unless you're like... In Ezekiel seat where God said I'm going I took you through it now I want you to help them through it right like I said if you've been through divorce and now you have somebody God assigned you to someone else who's suffering through this who are who's now dealing with this situation it's for you to help them through it all right all right y'all listen i don't know who needs this but god is saying right now don't let it catch you don't let it get you off your game yes the information is going to be something that that take you out but God wants you to know he is going to be with you through it all. Come on now. He said, I will st I'm going to be with you through it all, okay? So just stand by your father. Stay near to him. He will stay near to you. Amen? Listen, I love y'all with the love of God. Family, listen, go out and live a blessed life. You know the blessed life comes from first being a blessing.